Hello friends, hope you all are good. In my previous video, I discussed about batch fermentation, which is a type of fermentation. And now in this video, I'm going to discuss the fat batch fermentation, which is also a type of fermentation. So what is fat batch fermentation? In fat batch fermentation, we'll add the microorganisms in the batches first at once, and then we'll uh, we'll put the substrate at different interval of times in the batches and then after some time our product will be formed. So fat batch fermentation is basically a modification of batch fermentation because uh, why we need this modification as batch fermentation is good. Batch fermentation is complete in itself but we need this uh, fat batch fermentation as what we do in batch fermentation we add substrate we add microorganisms at once and then we'll seal it and our product will be formed after some time so sometime what happens uh, the substrate will which we add at once in the uh, batches will go harmful for the microorganisms and then if we go harmful for the microorganisms then the process of fermentation will not take place and uh, bacteria or microorganisms will die so in that case we have to use fat batch fermentation as uh, there are three major reasons of using fat batch fermentation firstly uh, when the substrate you know when the substrate we provide at once it go toxic for microorganisms and it increase viscosity also where oxygen absorption goes less and bacteria will die and it also repress the fermentation process for example if we want to produce baker's yeast if we'll produce it in batch fermentation we'll put all the substrate at once and the production of microorganisms will uh, will not be possible at that case as they'll go as they'll die so for that baker's yeast production we have to use fat batch fermentation in the fat batch fermentation what is the process of that we firstly need to increase the biomass or for example yeast for example we are doing it the production of baker's yeast so we use here yeast and then we'll do we'll put the little amount of substrate at different time intervals in the batches and then after some time our product will be formed so fat batch fermentation is of two type fixed volume fat batch fermentation and variable volume fat batch fermentation so here is a simple flow chart of that where substrate uh, for example when we take the nutrient media firstly we have to sterilize it and then we have to pour it into the fermenter then the process of incubation takes place and growth will start and after regular interval of time we'll add nutrient media and growth will will take place and then also we'll add uh, Again, we'll add nutrient media and our product will be taken out. So here are some advantages and disadvantages of that, of fat batch fermentation. The advantage is when we want to produce microorganisms in high amount and when the substrate which we use goes toxic. So in that case, we have to use fat batch fermentation and uh, it will limit the production of byproduct as we are providing the uh, substrate or feeding it in little amount at a regular time of interval and so uh, the production of byproduct will less and uh, the production of uh, microorganisms will go high which we want to produce in that case and uh, it will generate concentrated biomass so here are some dis disadvantages also that uh, firstly we need to study the microorganisms which we want to add it in the batches and uh, be because before uh, before knowing the study uh, before knowing the microorganisms which we want to add in this process will not do this process at very good level and so we need to study the microorganism it is not easy to establish or it is not easy to operate is a it is a tough or it is you know it is a difficult and complicated process and it is expensive also here are the uses of uh, fat batch fermentation we can produce baker's yeast 
and uh, many secondary metabolites for example penicillin vaccine etc so in fat batch fermentation we mostly produce the secondary metabolites or the microorganisms which we want to grow for example single cell proteins so this is all about fat batch fermentation hope you like the video share it with your friends stay tuned for more updates and thank you